Welcome to week one of the NFL preseason, where the rookies of today hope to become the stars of tomorrow. It's the Armadillos and the Voyagers, and it's coming up next on EA Sports. EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us in the shadow of the Eiffel Tower in the fabulous European capital of Paris, France. Today, it's a preseason matchup between the Austin Armadillos taking on the Voyagers of Paris. Charles Davis alongside me, and I'm Brandon Gordon. And, folks, the wait is over. Yes, it's just the preseason, but football is back in your living room. And I'm excited. I know you are as well. The summer heat feels good on these old bones, especially because we're not putting on pads. We don't have to be out there in that heat running into other people. But I'm glad these guys are. Football is back. Lawrence looking to pass on the first play. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. Now you put just a little bit too much heat on that one. When you throw it to the outside, you do have to be careful because you got to keep it away from the defender. But you also have to give your own guy a chance, too. Again on second and ten, it's Lawrence. Man open, that's Calvin Ridley. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. Off the play fake. Here's Lawrence. And that will be incomplete. They weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. On fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt. Deep to return is Kevante Turpin. Seven yards on the return after a punt of 39. So now we'll get a look at the other offensive unit as they come out for their first possession. They'll be led out by the eighth-year passer, two-time... Now a play fake here on first down. This one complete to his fullback out of the backfield. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll bring up second down. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three. Play action now. Prescott. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Brought to the ground by the linebacker, Foye Aluakai. Now how about that? Defensive coordinator perfectly in sync, dials up a blitz. And the man in the middle, he's the one who gets home. Big Mike. Big Mike. Third and 12. Here's Prescott. Now a diving effort right sideline. He's got it. It's a gain of 20 and picking up the first. And the key number on that play, three. Third play of the drive, third down. Spectacular catch turns into a first down. First down saves him from a three and out. And opening there on that first down run as he gets his forward for about eight or nine. And that looks to be eight officially, so second and two. Here's Pollard again. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. A couple of nice carries back-to-back -back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these aren't bare-bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yard you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five, more, five or more yards each time, that's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. Right, hang on now. We're going to pause here. We've got an injured player. Well, you hate to see this before the regular season even begins. And we'll take a break and come back. More preseason action in a moment.
Prescott now on second down. And all it will be intercepted. Well, your first drive of the first quarter, you get it down there, try to fire it in the end zone, and big-time deflation on that play. No doubt about it. They're moving and grooving and getting into position, and this is not the ending that they saw on this drive, is it? They had things going their way. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Here's Lawrence to throw. And he gets this one to Ridley complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. A man coming off an 1100 yard campaign last year. Here's Travis Etienne. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Ball on the 40 now. Here's a second and seven. A give to ETN running right. Dances by him. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. On first and ten, it's Lawrence. Throw it across his body, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Damone Clark, and they will take over possession of the football at their 42-yard line. Partner, I think this one went awry very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. They'll start in excellent field position following the INT. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. Following the interception, here's Prescott. Able to hit his target lamb. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Throwing, Prescott. That's dumped off to Poe. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. The loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. Second down, Prescott. He gets it to Cooks. Well, that's good for a gain of six. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. A tall task ahead of them here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Well, they've moved the ball okay here in these first two drives, but this one's going to get them out to nothing. They've got to start dialing up some plays that allow them to finish drives with points. Anger is on to punt, and he gets this one away. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll make it second down. Brings up second and five at that 18 yard line. They'll set up to run the quarterback draw. That will go for nine yards and a first down on the keeper. 
How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. On first and ten, it's ETN. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Now Lawrence to throw on second down. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. They'll run with ETN, and he will have a first down here at about the 40. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. On first down, right back to ETN. And he stopped immediately there. Saw the linebacker, Damone Clark, coming through with a stop. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Another tote for ETN. And he'll get about three here up to the 44-yard line. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. First catch for him. It's good for a dozen and a first down. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. Looking to throw Lawrence. He'll get this out to the flat for ETN. So five yards here, five on the play, and it's second down. A gain of five brings up second and five at the 39-yard line. Back to the ground with ETN. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. He's such a good route runner, shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot and they connected there and picked up a first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Johnson running right. And they will get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. At the three-yard line. Here's the rookie from Auburn, Tank Bigsby. Give him two yards. That sets him up first and goal. Well, we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play call, he just... And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. It's a one-yard touchdown run. And the Armadillos post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Sometimes offensive can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. McManus's point after is good, and that makes the score 7-0. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Paris offense out to have another go at it. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down.
They run here with Rico Dowdle. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Antonio Johnson, a nice tackle there behind the line of scrimmage. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. And he's got his man on the out route. And he'll be out right at the 35. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. On the run, it's Dowdle. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. A nice little game. Good position to be in here, second and inches. They run again with Dowdle. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's get a spot right at midfield at the 50. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. They run here with Dowdle. And he's going to be brought down inside the 45 at the 43. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three. They'll try the bootleg with Rush. Into the hands of Hendershot. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. An eligible receiver downfield. Offense. So he gets too far beyond the line, and that's an easy call for the official. Still second down. They go play action with Rush. Pass complete. He's got Hendershot. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. First connection there on the afternoon for those two, and it's good for a first down. To many teams, the evaluation of tight ends has really changed. We used to wonder about how they would block first and foremost. Now we want to know how these guys can run because we envision them in offenses. Catch the ball. How much yardage can they gain after that? And that on display there for a good pickup. First down now for Rush. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. It's now second and ten. Now Rush. He'll get this to his running back, Dowdle. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. To throw is Rush. Now throw right side here going to be incomplete. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. And this one is right down the middle. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So that kick gives them their first points of the game, CD. And it comes on the third drive, but hopefully for them that's a spark that gets that offense going. Yeah, and I would say if you're the offensive play caller, as you look at your sheet, you're trying to find that part on there that unlocks bigger points. They struggled with a few drives so far. Finally got three out of it. How do you find the end zone? That's what he's searching for now. Austin's offense ready to go again. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time. Now, Charles, remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. Was that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. Here's Beathard to throw. Can't get away, and he's taken down. They bring the 
Little safety on the blitz, and he busts through to drop him for an eight-yard loss. Now Charles dealing with a third and long. They'll have to try to go back to the air again, and this time avoid the sack. Certainly hard to try to establish momentum when all you're doing is going backwards, not protecting the passer, and he gets dumped on his backside. The offense on third down, they've been good. Three for four thus far. Third and a mile. Bathard. And that is incomplete. Yeah, that's a nice job there defensively to break up those receivers on third down. And as a quarterback, all you can do is just lop one toward the bench. Not too close, mind you. And live to punt the football. The Cook now on to punt as he gets this one away. And a fair catch taken here right at about the 40-yard line. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 40. Throwing here, Rush. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. A well-executed 22-yard gain. A running play, it's Dowdle. And a good stiff arm and some space to run. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. At the 34 yard line. Back to throw, Rush. He rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And his guys will take over at the 30 yard line. So a nice play defensively by the rookie coming up with the INT. And that's a late round pick right there, making a first round impact. And a lot of these day three corners end up winding up on special teams and sub packages and even on the practice squad. But he's really made an impact on this defense. And he comes up with the interception there. Austin's offense ready to go again. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. They stay on the ground on first with Johnson. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Second and 10 at the 46-yard line. A toss left side, Johnson. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield stripe. But if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. And a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And that will bounce out of bounds before they can get a return going. Here's the Paris offense ready to take possession. Well, still early in this one, Charles, but the last time this offense was out there, they threw their first interception of the ball game. So trying to avoid repeating that mistake here on this drive. And to put a positive spin on it, at least it happened in the first half and not in a close game in the fourth quarter, but you're absolutely right, partner. One of the last things this offensive quarterback wants to witness again in this game. Kind of an obvious question, Charles, but anything you try to avoid after your first pick or you say, it's one interception, we're still in the first half, I'm about to do the same thing. I think you want to avoid playing scared, you know, and put it into the mind of the quarterback that you've lost confidence in him. Make sure you get some throws that he's going to be able to complete. Make him feel good about himself and continue to run your offense. Out from the shadows of their goal line, here's first and 10 from the 11. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he'll take this one only up to about his 13-yard line. A gain of three, second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, 
a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Here's Rush on second down. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll be stopped at the 28. On a play that started at the 14, they pick up 14. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. And this play comes to a halt at the 33, and obviously that's well short of the first down. On to punt now, Anger, as he boots this one away. This is taken at the 23. Austin's offense ready to go again. There was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Here's second and ten. To throw is Bethard. He throws it on the move, but can't connect as that ball is incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. And this play going to be stopped in its tracks at the 32, and obviously well short of the first down. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Here's the Paris offense ready to take possession. And looking at this situation, Charles, you got more than a minute. You've got all three timeouts. Probably no need to play this safe. So what you're saying is that we're doing a little bit of a mind meld here, aren't we? Because I'm thinking along the same lines as you. This amount of time, don't be compelled to play it too safe. This is a chance to get points on the board. Press it a little bit. And especially since a touchdown here gets you the lead. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Rush. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Brooks. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. Here's third and three. Here's Rush to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. Now, I believe they buzz down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll look to throw again. Shoves him aside. Breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. They'll work from the 36 on second and six. Again, he'll drop to throw. And that one too wide and incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early, and now it's fourth down. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. This is taken at about the 14. It's a 47-yard punt, but they did give up 10 on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. 
A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. Here's Beathard to throw. In trouble, and he's taken down. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. Well, certainly going to be a lot tougher adding a touchdown to that lead now since they're facing second and 20 plus. Big time sack to start the drive and put the opponent way back. Let's see what kind of play call they come up with here. Okay, Brandon, thank you very much. Back to you guys in just a minute as we've started the countdown to opening night. Remember, the preseason has shrunk from four games down to three. So just two more weeks of preseason action follow this, and then we get it all started on the first Thursday after Labor Day. Okay, in our Coach, game, thanks the as defense always. Is looking this to be ready for the regular season. Game as we Maybe not the offense is just three. yet, but still a half to go as we get you back out to Brandon God. He takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. This offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. Yeah, now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. Well, injury's never good, especially here in the preseason. Hopefully nothing serious. They'll take a look at him, and we'll step aside for a moment. Out of the shotgun, Rush. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. He continues to deliver a first down here. He had four catches in the first half, and this one number five. It's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected, but this is a good pickup here for the first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now a handoff as they run left side. And it's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48 yard line. 54 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Back to throw. Rush. Pass complete to Jalen Tolbert. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory even if they don't get it, though. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. He's a loss of two. Brings up second and 12 at the 37-yard line. Operating from the gun. Rush. Looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Rush with it on first down. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. This is a second and four. Ball at the 9. At the 9-yard line. Looking to throw. Rush. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. K. Levon Chason, the former first-rounder, in there to get the sack. Here's third and 9. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And that is too far out in front of his intended target. Incomplete. 
And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. Let's get the ball back for us. And yeah, he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Back to throw Bathard. That's complete to Parker Washington. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. It's second and inches at the 27 yard line. And he's got his man in stride complete. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. 22 yards there, a first down. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll throw here. Bethard. Jones has it. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Here now, six. second and four. Up second and four at the 45-yard line. Now Bathard. Out to the flat here for Johnson. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. On oh, a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. 45 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Now on the heels of that run by Johnson, here's another first and 10. To throw is Bethard. That's complete to his tight end, Farrell. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. It's now second and five. Brings up second and five at the 24 yard line. Man in motion is Agnew. And they'll fake it on the jet sweep, and instead a handoff up the middle. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. They'll set up to throw. He'll check this down to Johnson. And he'll get this to the 23, but that'll be well short of what he needed. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. Now McManus will line up for the field goal. From the right hash, this from an even 40 yards out. Oh, they pitch to the tight end. It's a fake. The fake field goal catches everyone by surprise. And the Armadillo's decision to go for it pays off with six points. Right there, the fake worked out perfectly. The holder took the ball and found his man. A perfect fake field goal. Love it. McManus now for the extra point. And it's up. It's good. Our score, 14-6. to six. That time, a nine-play drive. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. Noah Igbenogany from his end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Here's the Paris offense ready to take possession. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. 
They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Had to pass there, third and long on your own side of the field. Just couldn't come up with anything. That's why teams always talk about having to win the early downs, meaning you've got to gain yardage and set yourself up for third and short because when it's third and long, the odds go down significantly trying to pick up the first down, even throwing the football. So a change of possession here on the punt, and they will take over first and ten. And they'll start the drive on the ground with Johnson. Tackle there by Leighton Vander Esch. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. And able to use his blockers to get this up over the 40. Yeah, and he's able to get most of what he needed on the carry there. Seven yards on the gain, and it's third and two now. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. From this vantage point, they've got the lead here. So for me, that'd be enough to go ahead and punt the football and let my defense defend the long field. If you go for it, you don't get it, then you really put your defense in a tight spot. Yeah, but we never know what people ultimately will decide to do here on fourth and inches. Here's Logan Cook now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he didn't quite have the backspin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. The Paris offense out to have another go at it. And, Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more preseason football on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. As we are set to bring you the home stretch here, the fourth quarter. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. 79 yards rushing for him now. 17 carries. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. Looking middle and that's complete. And he's brought down. Back to back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. Throwing here. Rush. Taken down for a sack back at the 47 yard line. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine yard loss. But defensively, on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward. And how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. Throwing on second and long. Rush. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Rush working from the gun. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. Dewan Smoot getting in there, recording the sack. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Here's Brian Anger now as he'll come on to kick this one away.
This will be fielded at the 17. Following the punt return here, there is someone shaken up. Boy, you hate to see this before the regular season even begins. And we'll take a break and come back. More preseason action in a moment. Here's Beathard to throw. Throwing middle, and it's complete. The result only four yards there on the play. And it's second down. Second and six at the 30 yard line. From the gun, a run for Johnson. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Again, it's Johnson. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Personal foul. Baseman. Defense. Trailing in the fourth this close of a game, that's a penalty you just can't afford. It's an absolute killer, and it's one that drives coaches and teammates insane. And now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Beathard. That's to the sideline and incomplete. And my initial thought was that maybe he was just trying to blindly throw this one away, and maybe he was. But he's going to get away with it because as he tried to throw it over the left sideline there, there's a receiver right there in the area. So no grounding call. To throw on second and ten. Beathard. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll give up the middle to Johnson. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, They've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Second and 10. He'll drop to throw. And this complete right side of the tight end, Farrell. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. And the slot man goes in motion left. And he'll get it here on the jet sweep. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. So here now is Brandon McManus in a big spot. This to make it a two-score game. The kick by McManus is good. And that will extend their lead here to 17-6. So that's CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. Well, Paris offense out to have another go at it. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 97 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second down at a yard. Back to throw, Rush. And that'll be incomplete. 
that time, but end up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Rush here on third down. That is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That one goes for eight yards. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified. Big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. They go play action with Rush. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. Fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. Now this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. Here's Rush to throw. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. Boy, a tough spot here as they approach the line of scrimmage. A long way to go to try to pick up this first down. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He'll rifle this one deep right side. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Going for the knockout blow right there. I think if I'm up two scores, I'd be worried about an interception. But playing this way is what got him this lead. So you may as well ride it out to the end. Fourth down. Here's Rush. He's going to let it go again. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Mike McCarthy took the gamble, didn't pay off. And the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Rush coming, and he's taken down. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Here's Beathard to throw. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. To throw is Beathard. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack. Back at the 47-yard line. Dropped for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. Here's Logan Cook now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted. And spotted at the 14-yard line. Rush to throw on first down. Finding Tolbert here over the middle. And brought down, but not before they're able to get it up to the 25. Rush with it on first down. He'll get this to his running back, Dowdle. And they're able to get this one across the 35. And now they're in the hurry up. 13 yards on the play. First down now for Rush. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. To throw is Rush. Into space at the 45. And all the way up to the 45-yard line. 
A lot on the line here, even for just a preseason game. Jobs to be won and lost. It's third down. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Now Rush. Out right, he finds Tolbert. And he'll get two or three out of that one as that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. Rush's throw pulled in by Tolbert. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and ten. Here's Rush. And it's caught. And he's brought down. Now first and goal. Now Rush. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here. This close down and it brings up second down. Now second down and a few inches. Rush. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed. But if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively, though, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right. And if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slide their way down the field. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, uh, yeah, you know what I feel right. Exactly. So they got their touchdown. Now down a field goal. Here comes the onside kick. And it looks like this one won't work out. Hands team able to secure the football. A tough one there. They certainly wanted that when they needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it. But even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. And remember, no overtime here in preseason. This offense hoping that's a moot issue as they try to finish this one off. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with a minute seven remaining. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. And he can't get a throw away. Taken down. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. The situation for them offensively as follows. Down 17-14, 55 seconds remaining. You can't say the preseason isn't interesting. This has been great as they come up first and 10. They'll look to throw over the middle complete. It's Brooks. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. He's back to throw. And that is incomplete. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his home. Got to totally command it, make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other. And this defense has broken it open as they return it to the house for six. This was a close game. They needed a little breathing room. Boy, they got it right there on that return for a touchdown. Yeah, we would say that this could be huge. Forget it. It was huge. Gave them a comfortable lead. Now McManus for the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So not only the cough-up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. 
fielded just outside the goal line. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And here's the Paris offense ready to take possession. They can't do much at this point, partner. This one is going to go down in the loss column. You don't make up for what has happened during the game in this sequence here. Maybe you hand it off and let someone run the ball if you, if you so choose. But otherwise, just kneel down, call it a day, and try and prepare going forward. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Another try, second and ten now. Throwing here, Rush. Into the hands of Hendershot. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. But Charles, it's great to win at home in the NFL. When you win on the road, it's a little extra special, isn't it? It is because, let's face it, in most cases, you're not expected to go on the road and win in the National Football League. It just doesn't usually compute. So to get out there, get that done, and then head back to your city with one in, your, in the victory column, oh, that's a fantastic feeling. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Until next time, we say au revoir from Paris.